Welcome everyone back to weekly weather updates and in today's video we're going to have the latest from the live radar and for the latest UK V have the precipitation and the temperature over the next five days so we are finally sweeping away this very cold air from the far east a bit of snow to come on the leading edge of some of these precipitation bands but generally speaking it will be turning slowly milder over the next few days as we head towards the end of February now, it's in sight pretty much from lots of the longer range charts. We could see some pretty mild air masses to end this week, but unfortunately it does look like that higher pressure signal that some of the runs have had over the past few days has really started to disintegrate away. And instead, it does look like lower pressure in off the Atlantic is going to take over. And there's a risk that it could turn pretty stormy towards the end of February. At the moment, though, the jet stream does look like it's not going to dig southwards. So that means if we did see stormy conditions, it would be focused across the northern half of the British Isles. But again, that is something we'll focus on in the second half of the video. So do remember, if you enjoy the videos, make sure you like and subscribe. And remember to follow me on Twitter as well, the link's in the description. Now, if you start on the live radar, you can see at the moment it is generally dry, but a frosty morning with lots of sunshine. Now, I've got this earlier in the morning today, and you can see we are seeing a bit of snow coming in on the leading edge of some of these precipitation bands, but really not expecting anything too major as a result of this, as the milder air will slowly sweep in. Now, do look at the temperatures this morning. You can see it is pretty cold. I uh, don't know why the radar is showing it is 5 a.m. and it's not 5 a.m. Um, it's more like 8 or 9 a.m. Um, but you can see it is still pretty cold this morning. You can see we are not seeing those beastly temperatures across, that we're seeing across much of Central and Eastern Europe. This is the air mass we thought we would tap into we're not quite tapping into unfortunately um, if you wanted that cold weather but it's still chilly it's still cold out there it's just not that wintry sort of proper arctic cold you can see it is mild across the western part of Ireland and it's remained like that for much of the past few days but that sort of conditions will slowly be pushing in and winning out against this colder air mass now, if you go over to the latest UKV, you can see that snow continue to develop across Scotland through this morning, but fizzling away by around the early afternoon. As we rest through Monday into Tuesday, lots of cloud around, but precipitation slowly pushing in from the west. Again, a bit of snow potentially on the leading edge, but not expecting anything too major through the rest of Tuesday. As we progress into Wednesday, still lots of cloud, but eventually we could see some clearings, but it will be accompanied by weather fronts as we do slowly see it turning unsettled from the west with some quite heavy bands of precipitation, which is pretty typical for mild Atlantic air. And you can see as we head towards the end of the week, look at that, lots of brighter colours indicating some really heavy rain. And as I said, we're not seeing that high pressure signal building in from the south anymore it's still there just more across europe instead we're more under the lower pressure so it's probably going to be a little bit more miserable but probably quite a bit milder now if you have a look at the temperatures you can see earlier this morning uh, or this morning you can see it is very cold temperatures down to zero to minus four as we head into the afternoon, it's still chilly, widely kind of one or two up towards five or six. And again, through this evening, down towards freezing once again. Into Tuesday afternoon, we're going to see temperatures slightly higher, maybe five, six, seven. And then once again, as we progress into Wednesday morning, another frost developing, just not quite as cold everywhere. Wednesday afternoon, starting to get back towards average temperatures, mid to high single digits, around that 7, 8, 9 degree mark. Overnight, absence of a frost into Thursday. And look at those temperatures, 14, 15 degrees, very mild by the end of the week. So flipping from cold, not wintry, but cold to very mild. And you can see it is going to be accompanied by lots of rain, unfortunately. Uh, it is still in from the southwest, just not high pressure southwest leagues like we thought a few days ago. Now we can see that on the latest GFS. You can see at the moment we've got the two big air masses colliding southwest leagues from the mid Atlantic, very cold Arctic air to our east, and the mild air is going to win out. And you can see over the coming hours, we slowly see that southwesterly does completely dominate by the end of the week. And then look at this, the high pressure isn't 
in it is more across our east which means it opens the door to low pressure systems barreling off the atlantic indeed it looks very unsettled a small little system develops in the kink of the isobars there in the jet stream that could uh, turn into something quite nasty uh, elsewhere though lots of strong severe low pressure to our north and that's why i said if we were to see some very stormy conditions it would be more dominant across the northern half as the jet stream is diving southwards to a certain extent but not enough to push these lows towards quite southern england for example so yeah stormy weather for some but mainly would be focused further northwards if you compare to the latest GM, uh, broadly very similar. Again, that clash at the moment. The high pressure has a bit of success during this week. That's why we still see some frosty nights. But low pressure barrels in off the Atlantic by the end of the week. And you can see it turns very unsettled. Once again, if we were to see storming conditions, would be dominant further northwards. The Azores high it does look like it's got some decent strength for the last few days of February. To finish off those longer range charts, if you look at the latest ECM WF, again broadly very similar, low pressure barreling in off the Atlantic, continues to get very unsettled, even a bit of a northwesterly tilt there to the isobars, so that could draw in some briefly colder air for a time, some polar maritime air masses, uh, so it could be chilly, uh, it definitely doesn't mean it's definitely going to be mild if we did see this barreling of the Atlantic, but it is going to be unsettled lots of precipitation to come and we can see that from the latest ensembles so the next few days temperatures do go well above average with that southwesterly push and precipitation starts to pick up by the end of the week symbolic of those big lower pressure systems coming in off the atlantic beyond that though temperatures do dip back towards average and even below average there for the final few days of february indicative of a polar maritime air mass potentially coming in combined with that higher precipitation so we're not looking at very cold conditions but we are looking at chilly northwesterlies possibly there as we do head towards the end of the month you see those two meters temperatures cold at the moment climbing well above average towards the low to even mid-teens for a time towards the weekends and then dipping once again into next week uh, and towards the final few days of February and start of March as we do get back to more average temperatures as we do see some chillier northwesterlies pushing in. You see the mean sea level pressure very up and down over the next couple of weeks. You can see it's not too low there for London. As I said though, if we were to see some deeper lows, they would be concentrated further northwards. And then if we just finish on the GFS by looking at the dew points, you can see how we are going to Atlantic dew point, uh, Atlantic air masses because those dew points climb well above freezing. That's pretty typical from an Atlantic air mass, a continental or even Arctic air mass. We are looking at below freezing dew points and that's what we're seeing at the moment. You can see the polar maritime air mass is a bit of a 50-50. It's cold but not very cold in terms of those dew points. That's why sometimes we have cold enough air for snow but the dew points are never uh, not quite there so that's something to keep a close eye on could be pretty wild there towards the end of february and if you finish by looking at the latest ecmwf ensembles uh just like the midnight run hasn't fully come out yet but we'll have a look at the midday run must be an issue there you can have, you can see that we have got a big rise in temperatures over the next couple of hours and days and then again very similar to the gfs a slow decrease into the longer term but with pretty high to moderate precipitation so actually both ensemble sets both ecmwf and the gfs are pretty much exactly the same very good strong cross-model consensus here which does mean that we've got some fairly high confidence in the longer term prospects and if you are looking for some late season snow or maybe even some early spring warmth and dryness doesn't look likely at this stage we f still think some early spring warmth is possible but it probably won't be dry anymore as we can see later this week uk v showing 16 degrees somewhere across england but it's going to be accompanied by cloud and rain unfortunately so have to wait and see what happens over the coming days but at the moment it is looking like we're going to see pretty unsettled next couple of weeks towards the end of winter uh, but of course we'll keep you up to date and of course if you saw yesterday's video there is a risk of some stratospheric disruption over the next few weeks and that could have a knock-on effect potentially into march and april and that's something to keep a close eye on as well so anyway, thanks for watching hope you enjoyed subscribe if you're new and i'll see you again for another video soon